Hey friends, today we are hanging out at Disney's Animal Kingdom and we are going to be checking out the new show Kite Tales for the first time and trying some of the 50th anniversary snacks and food items. And one of the things I'm looking forward to is the smoked meatloaf from the Flame Tree Barbecue that just started for the 50th anniversary. Anywho, let's go do this. The new Kite Tales show has multiple showings throughout the day from 11 a.m. to 5.15 p.m. Tonight, the park is open the latest I've seen it in a while, 8.30 p.m. So there's a good chance we actually might see the Tree of Life come to life tonight. That would be amazing. I haven't seen it in so long because they don't do it when the park closes before dusk. So uh, we have that to look forward to as well. I also wouldn't mind riding a couple of my favorite Animal Kingdom rides. I always like come and do an Expedition Everest, a little dinosaur, maybe a flight of passage if we could, but there's a lot to actually take in. Like I said, lots of new snacks, new food items, new shows, and uh, yeah, I mean, we're celebrating Walt Disney World's 50th anniversary for the next 18 months, so we have a lot of time to cover it all. The next showing for Kite Tales is at 4.15, so that's just about 15 minutes away. It gives us plenty of time to grab ourselves a Kungaloosh and a good seat and enjoy the show. And you can see Baloo's just resting over there. They're going to blow him up eventually, and I'm excited to see this show. Like, I really love the music. I've seen little snippets of it, and uh, I was impressed from what I just saw. And you definitely can't go wrong with a little Kungaloosh and a little Kite Tales. A little Kungaloosh Kite Tales. Heartbreak at the Thirsty River Bar. They stopped serving the Kungaloosh there. So now that beer is basically only sold uh, at like four different places around Walt Disney World. And they just took one away. So instead I got a Safari Amber, which will fit perfectly with Kite Tails. Look at the jet ski coming in. Kungaloosh, friend. <laughs> Look at that. So cool. I wish I could go where he's going. He's going underneath the bridge. He's gonna come out over on this side now. I'm gonna go over and catch him and say hi. There he goes. Wow. What a life. Even though it's a safari amber, we can still say Kungaloosh. So Kungaloosh. I heard the best place to watch the show is over here in Dino Land, USA. So that's why I came over on this side instead of over by Expedition Everest. Look at this, it looks like they put on a little pre-show with Crush with audience participation. That's really cool, it's nice to see. I think this is the first time I've seen like an audience participation uh, during one of the Disney shows since the reopening. Okay, I really like this show. Honestly, my favorite thing about Epcot Forever was the kites, and I knew I was gonna like this. I love the music, I love the kites. It's really fun, it's really upbeat, and there's two different shows. So that was the Jungle Book one, and then they have a Lion King one, and I think there's one more show in the day, so they alternate sometimes in between the shows as long as everything's working perfectly. And I wouldn't mind swinging back and just catching a glimpse of the Lion King one because I really like this. As I was watching the show, I opened up my My Disney Experience app and I placed my order for the smoked meatloaf here at Flame Tree Barbecue. And it's kind of funny because it's not on the menu there, but it is on the app, so I don't know if it's for the 50th or not. 
I am a meatloaf enthusiast, so I'm very excited to try this. My favorite meatloaf is Walt's meatloaf, and that's actually in Disneyland. I had it one time when I went over there, and I wish they'd bring it over here. They do have meatloaf at the plaza, but it's not Walt's meatloaf, and uh, I would like to see them add that. They could add it to the Crystal Palace, and this one is just uh, smoked meatloaf because it's a flame tree barbecue, but they do have Walt's chili here at Animal Kingdom. I'll show you that a little bit later on. Here is a look at the stanchion sign. They don't have it on the menu, but they have it on this little sign right here. And it comes with one side baked beans and coleslaw. But they also have a new cupcake over here, and it's the Scar Cupcake. Look at that. Say it again, Mufasa. Say it again, Mufasa. Along with my smoked meatloaf, I decided to get the iridescent uh, Firefly, which is a non-alcoholic drink that looks really pretty, and I thought it would mix well. I think it's pineapple and mountain berry Powerade and Sprite, and then it's some nice pineapple garnishing, and uh, yeah, it looked pretty, so I got it. <laughs> oh, that's mine. for you? Yes. Right, yep. Thank you. Looking very fancy. Ooh, kind of looks like a ram. Here it is, the iridescent Firefly with Glow. And like I said, it's pineapple juice, uh, blue Powerade, and Sprite garnished with the pineapple, but it kind of looks like a ram, doesn't it? I'm gonna try to take a sip real quick. That's good, it's like a good punch. The funny thing is, is this is $8.49, and then the whole smoked meatloaf meal is $13. So just $5 more, than the drink like that's intense but you do get to eat the pineapples though so you get a little drink and a snack and plus one of those fancy glow cubes you know those are very expensive and hard to find but i'm excited to try this i do love the meatloaf and i love the baked beans from here so it's an added bonus i'm not a big fan of coleslaw though but maybe we'll get a nibble let's cut on into the meatloaf here and it's got a little garlic bread too I like how they have that uh, barbecue sauce on top. I'm not a big fan of barbecue sauce on my meatloaf though. I mean, I'll try it, but I mean, I guess it is the flame tree barbecue. First bite of the smoked meatloaf. Here we go. It's good, it's pretty good. I think I need to add a little baked beans to it, but I mean, it, it kind of just tastes like regular meatloaf. I don't know, not, nothing like too crazy. I would get it uh, just because it's $13 and that's a pretty affordable uh, quick service meal. I don't even think a burger combo is uh, $13. So this you get meatloaf, garlic bread, french fries, coleslaw, and baked beans. And that's not a bad price. And like I said, I, I, I don't know, I do like it. It's pretty good. I mean, it's definitely not the best meatloaf, but I bet you it's the best meatloaf in Animal Kingdom. And a little baked beans on it make it even better. I did snap my fork off though. That's not really a good tell of things. And uh, I can't really leave because if I leave this spot with no money watching my food, the birds will definitely have their way. So I'm just gonna kinda eat my beans like this now. If you guys think I'm kidding, I'm 100% serious. If I leave my food right here right now, the birds will have it. There are probably at least uh, 10 of them just staring at me waiting in case I drop one or uh, in case I leave the table. So <laughs> we're gonna have a mini fork full of beans. They are on the hunt. They're not gonna get my beans. <laughs> These are the sacred beans. Oh, holy moly, a big one just came in. They're flying in everywhere. Look at the size of that one right there. Oh, oh, look at them. No joke. <laughs> there we go. Now we're gonna finish up the drink. As we were sitting over here by Flame Tree Barbecue, I realized that this might be a good spot to actually watch Kite Tales from. So we're gonna go down by the water and see if it's a good view. But I noticed these statues and I quite don't understand it. Is this like a pig sacrificing another pig to a god? Like what is happening right here? Isn't that so strange? Or is that like a, I think that might be a cougar, but that is a pig, I would assume. Very, very strange. Gonna bring my little firefly along with me. And like I said, this might be a really good spot to watch them from, I mean, who knows? Oh my Lord, this is an amazing spot. It's right there. That's gonna be a little Simba popping out. Holy moly. I wish I came over here to watch the Jungle Book because the view is amazing. Ooh, and there's Mufasa. Mufasa. Hi, friend. 
<laughs> I said, look it! <laughs> World's greatest kite! <laughs> that is awesome, man! Nice to see you! <laughs> We're that's my friend Drayton and he has a channel called The World's Greatest Kiting and I'll put a link to his channel in the description and he's actually going to be flying Simba out there so that's really cool. I was just sitting here and this squid keeps on uh, squidding into my drink here so I have to move everything down here. It's going about its business. Honestly, that might be the best spot to watch Kite Tales is actually in the back dining area of Flame Tree Barbecue because they launch right there so like you see it up close and it's so cool to see actually the production and how they have backup plans in case the kites don't fly right and I don't know it's just a really good show. Now I think I'm gonna actually ride a ride. I normally don't ride uh, mainly because I don't want to get wet but Cali River Rapids is only a five minute wait and I figured why not? I mean the chances of me getting wet is basically uh, like one in eight I believe because like basically only one person gets wet so hopefully it isn't my turn a little pro tip if you do ride Cali River Rapids they have no stores sometimes you have to lock everything up but if you want to bring your camera and your phone grab a little bag and when you get to the hill if you are with your back to the hill you're gonna get wet so just grab and stuff it right in the bag real quick and you should be good now, I'm not saying that always works out because uh, it's not like 100% waterproof, but it will save you just in case. I also vote Cali River Rapids for having the most unnecessary longest queue that never gets used. It is such a long queue. Like you actually, I think the whole like wait time is walking through the queue that basically has nobody waiting. All right. Yeah, well, no, I'm keeping it going. There's a, like a good a one in like, uh, what, 75% chance that you're gonna get wet. Whoever goes down the hill with their back this way is gonna get soaked. Hopefully it's not gonna be me. It's probably gonna be you. No. <laughs> yeah, maybe it's this person. Yeah, they'll be lucky, but then me and you will get it. So who knows, but we're gonna risk it. Oh my Lord, there's bees inside the Cali River rapid boats. Look at that sucker right there. I don't know if you see it, but I think there's a bee's nest inside there. Ah! The anticipation is really going. Oh boy! We're getting there. It's actually a really nice relaxing ride up here. You get nice breeze and the sounds. It's very peaceful. It's very nice. I like it. Look at the shot of Everest though. Isn't that amazing? Whoa! Oh boy. Oh boy. Keep spinning. No, keep spinning. Oh boy. Oh no, yes, yes. All right, yes. No, all right. Oh no, yeah. Oh no. Oh no, oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Yep. I didn't get it in the bag in time. I didn't get we're still coming in pretty hot though. Coming in hot! Coming in hot! Oh, no! Ah! <laughs> We're in the cave of wonders! Oh, what? Oh, no! No, 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 no! I think we did pretty well. We did good. 
Yeah, right? We did good. A little bit wet, but it's okay. Nothing that uh, I couldn't just wipe off. <laughs> Cali Rapids Expeditions is one of those rides that really gets your heart pumping. I mean, if you're afraid of getting wet, and the fact that I carry a bunch of cell phones and batteries and cameras, uh, I'm afraid to get wet. <laughs> so, and plus I don't like to be a soggy bottom boy. Nobody likes that. Nobody wants to be a soggy bottom boy. Now I figured maybe we'll head over to Africa or Pandora and uh, see if we can see some animals in both of the areas. <laughs> One of the things that I'm super excited to see is the beacons of magic on the Tree of Life when it comes to life later on tonight. It's definitely gonna happen because like I said, the park is open till 8.30 and I think in the times guide it's set at 7.45. So we're gonna wanna make sure to catch that, but also I wouldn't mind seeing the bioluminescence in uh, Pandora. Like I said, I don't see a lot of that stuff. Normally the park's closed by now. In all my time, I have never seen these actually out on the cage like this. How cool is that? Wow, this is like the closest I think I've ever been to animals here at Animal Kingdom. They are right here, like. <laughs> As I was making my way over to Kilimanjaro Safaris, I noticed they have a new Dole Whip and it's a Scars Layer and it's a Dole Whip Pineapple and Sour Apple. I am not the biggest Sour Apple fan. Actually, I don't like Sour Apple at all, but I think I might just try it just for the sake of trying it. Sour apple and pineapple mixed together. What do you guys think? I mean, it, it's probably really pretty. I'm gonna guess that it's green. Uh, so, I mean, we'll try it, but like I said, I don't have high hopes because I really don't like sour apple. And here it is, Scar's Lair. Definitely experimental here. I mean, maybe it actually would be pretty good. I mean, who knows? It does melt quickly, so we're gonna have to eat it pretty fast. I don't think I'm gonna eat it all because I really don't like sour apple, but I'm willing to try anything. Here we go. Do not like that at all. No, no. Nope. I'll do one more just to make sure, but... It does not mix well for me. I don't know. Not my favorite. <laughs> Honestly, I gave it like a good three or four taste and I just don't like it. I don't like to pucker when I'm eating a Dole Whip. I don't know about anybody else. Did they? Like, think about it. Think about eating a Dole Whip. Think about how refreshing it is. And then think about a sour pucker, like, after your first, like, scoop. Like, that doesn't go hand in hand with a Dole Whip. I'll do one more, but now it's just basically punishment for some reason. Yeah, oh, no. No, 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 no. Now it is time we're gonna head into Pandora, and I can already see the bioluminescence actually glowing. Man. I love it coming back here. I remember the first time seeing it like this, I was like, wow. It's like you're on another planet, which you are. Look at all the pods actually strobing. I always point it out, but I have one of these in my living room and it's really cool. And now this is actually available. You can touch this. They uh, actually opened it up. They had like a little rope there, but now it's gone. And also they have the drums up and running too. And like I said before, you can really see the bioluminescence. It's really coming to life here. I love it. The wait times for all the attractions in Pandora are super low, but I wanna make sure I'm up front to watch Beacons of Magic on the Tree of Life come to life. And I think that's just in 10 minutes. So maybe we'll go up there and watch that and then come back down here. It's not a show, it's just gonna turn on. Like the Tree of Life is just gonna come to life. Oh, looks like there's a lot of people coming to see the new show here. Hi, friend. How are you? Look at that. Lots of people here. Honestly, in the history of any of the uh, Tree of Life Awakenings, I don't think I've ever seen this many people actually here for this. And this is four days old. Like, this isn't even something brand new for tonight. So, very impressive. I like a big draw. I ran into some friends, Spencer and Katie, Hi. Best Life and Beyond. Yeah, Nate. Yep, and they're ready to watch the show, and I think we're just gonna hang out and watch and look at that. Yeah. It's beautiful, right? Beacons of magic, dude. Beacons of magic. It's gonna be miraculous. Yes. <laughs> Go the wilderness and discover a world alive with wonder. Tonight, as we gather together under the branches of the tree of life, our luminosity ignites the magic to create a beacon, shining out and celebrating 50 years of the most magical place on earth. Yeah, 
So like I said, it was just like a 10 second show, but it was nice to run into Katie and Spencer. And now we're gonna uh, run into some more friends and do Expedition at Night. Dylan, theme park obsession. Hello. Adam the Woo. Are you ready? I, I just got here. Oh yeah, you just got here. Is this all a separate vi like a video? This is gonna be its own video. You're gonna do one a video, ride. one ride. One ride, that's it. With 45 minutes left to the park to be open. I'm only gonna ride one ride. Wow, this is gonna be Thank interesting. You for watching. Well, if you just start filming now, you have 45 minutes of footage. They just keep it all going like nonstop. <laughs> Run it literally nonstop. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna head to where all those screams are coming from. Expedition at night is my favorite thing to do. And look at this, like it is dark, dark. This is gonna be great. This time of the night, Expedition Ever should be a walk on. It says 10 minutes, but. I'm pretty sure it's going to be a walk-on and we're all going to ride. Maybe we can ride more than one, so I think we have a good 30 minutes left in the park being open. The <laughs> yeah, we're going to Halloween Horror Nights! <laughs> Here it comes. A little night ride on Expedition Everest to my absolute favorite. There we go. I also had some friends up there too. Okay, here we go. We're getting ready to launch. Oh wow. Oh, here we go. It's a beautiful night. Mountain or Expedition Everest? Oh, I'm Team <laughs> really? But this is like just because Matterhorn is like very special. Oh! And hi, friends! I love it. And take a look at this. Yeah. I bought that today. Did you buy this? Beautiful. Oh my God! How cute! It's a kite. It's a stunt streamer. Oh, you have it out? Oh, my God. oh let's see it. Oh, my God. Hold on. Okay. Now, this is the real magic right here. I got some skills. Ready? Yes. Oh. When I wish upon a star. <laughs> Look at that. Calden, Calden. <laughs> oh wow! Answer the call. I thought I, the sheet can really do this. <laughs> I love it. Thank you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I clapped the whole entire ride. Yeah, clapped the whole time. Oh wow, now everyone's clapping. It's really getting intense. Hands up! <laughs> oh, we got the green light. Oh, 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 oh! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> So we just did Expedition Everest back to back, and now back I think to back to back, back to back to back. Third time's a charm. The third peat. Oh, three peat. Oh, three peat. <laughs> uh, can we go in? The door. The door shut now. Lightning lane access. We're going in the lightning lane. All right, here we go. 
Wait, is that you? This is a train, right? Yeah. This is the choo choo. It's a train, okay. Are you fine of the night? It's like a bike cart. Oh! <laughs> you, cut, you have the secret on the hat. You like have it on. Yeah, it's out. Take it off and put it back on. Yeah. Now I'm bald. Ah! Ah! <laughs> 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 That's how it's done. We made it back three times Ooh. in like 30 minutes. <laughs> And the hat stayed on. <laughs> and with that, I think we are done here. They're doing the uh, Beacon of Magic again on the Tree of Life. They do it continuously throughout the night, I guess. And I would have rather came now because there's nobody actually waiting. So if you want to see that, even though it's only like 10, 15 seconds, wait till the end of the night. You know what I mean? Don't go to the first one. Uh, but I had such an amazing day here. Got to meet and run into a lot of friends and hang out. Rode Expedition Everest three times. I mean, <laughs> that's like... Uh, accomplishment on its own. Anywho's, I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. We'll see you next time. Bye!